Hi guys, welcome to another edition of What's New in the Library. So this is your February edition, and I am coming to you with some very exciting news. So you know how every year there is a list of Mark Twain and Truman books? The posters look like this. Well, believe it or not, they have decided what books are going to be on the list for 2020 and 2021, which seems like so far away, but they've already decided which ones have made it. So I'm going to tell you about that today. It's kind of a top secret. Not a lot of people know this yet. So you're getting inside information. So first of all, I want to talk to you about how they decide what books go on the list. So it is a Missouri only thing. Missouri is the only state that has the Mark Twain list and the Truman list. Mark Twain was the famous author from Hannibal, Missouri, and President Truman was the only U.S. president from Missouri, so that's where the names come from. So teachers from all over the state read and read and read and read tons of books. And there is a committee that you can submit your favorite titles to in order to get them on the final list. And the committee then sends out a preliminary list. So the preliminary list has about between 20 and 24 books on it. And teachers don't decide what is on the final list. Students actually get to decide what is on the final list. So all around the state of Missouri in different schools, there are groups or clubs, whatever you want to call it, called reader selectors. So here in Beaker, there are five kids on the reader selector committee. Uh, they are all girls this year. That's just how it worked out this year. So they're all girls. And these kids have agreed to read as many books as they can that are on this preliminary list. So they've agreed to read from like September to January, like, 25 books at least. That's a lot of books, guys. I can't even read that many books in that amount of time. So they sign up and they agree to read that many books and then they rate them. Students all around the state do this. They rate the books and then the books that get the best ratings will finally end up on the final list for Mark Twain and Truman. So I want to kind of talk to you about the preliminary list, what books were on there, because a lot of you come in here and you say, Miss Otto, I, what books should I check out? What do I get? What do I get? What do I get? Well, this is a good place to start. That's why I like these lists is because they have been read by a ton of people and a ton of people recommend them. And it's all people from Missouri, which I think is also pretty cool. So Let's start with the Mark Twain preliminary list. Now, I don't have every single one of the books that was on the preliminary list, but I have quite a few. So let's get started. So this is Mark Twain list. Um, remember, Mark Twain is for fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. So these books have been approved and they're okay for that grade level, but that doesn't mean that eighth graders can't read them. They can read them. It's just these books are most loved by fourth, fifth, and sixth graders. So the first one on the list, now this is not a final. This did not make it on the final list. I'm gonna show you all the ones that didn't make it, then I'll show you the ones that did. So this one is called Me, Frida, and the Secret of the Peacock Ring. This is by Angela Cervantes. She came to Beaker a couple years ago. We got to meet her and she's a wonderful author. She also wrote Gabby Lost and Found, Allie First at Last, and she lives in Kansas City. So this one didn't make it on the list, but it's still a good book. I recommend it. It is over in realistic fiction. The next one that didn't make it is in the sports section. This one is called Take Down, and it is a story about wrestling. It is a story told by two people, a girl and a guy. So one chapter is told by the girl, one chapter is told by the guy, and it is located in the sports section. Again, that's Take Down. Didn't make it on the list. The next one is The Reckless Club, and I was really disappointed this one didn't make it because it's Beth Vrabel. We love Beth Vrabel, fifth grade. You saw her speak last year. She came to our school. She wrote um, The Losers Club, or no, not Losers Club, sorry, rewind. She wrote Pack of Dorks, Camp Dork, Super Dorks. So this is her, The Reckless Club. Again, this one didn't make it. It is located in realistic fiction. Another one that didn't make it, I don't actually know anything about this book. It's called Ostrich and Other Lost Things. I need somebody to read it tell me what it's about. Realistic fiction. Another one that did not make it is called Hope in the Holler. I have not read this one either. Have you noticed how many of these are realistic fiction? That's kind of a trend I notice when it comes to the Mark Twain and Truman list is a lot of times it's realistic fiction, which that's my favorite genre, so it works out for me. Another one that did not make it is called Where the Watermelons Grow. This is by Cindy Baldwin. The cover's really pretty. You know, I always tell you not to judge a book by its cover, but I totally do. The cover looks cool. I'm going to read it. 
Another one that did not make it is called Mercy Suarez Changes Gears by Meg Medina. Now, this book is an excellent book. It won a huge national award. Not, it didn't make it on the Missouri list, the final list over here, but it's still a really good book, and I recommend you reading it. Um, it has a lot of words in Spanish, but I don't speak Spanish, and I could still understand it. So come check it out from the purple section. And the last one I have that did not make the list, it's called The Rules of Everyday Magic. Again, realistic fiction. Are you surprised? Um, these are the Mark Twain ones that did not make it, um, but that means they're still really good books because they made it on the preliminary list. Like, it goes from like... 200 books to 24 books, that's what the preliminary list is, then down to 12. So they're still really good books, so you should still read them. Okay, you ready for the ones that did make the list? I don't have all of them. There's 12 that are on the final list. I don't have all of them here. Either I have them in there checked out, or I just don't have them yet because they're pretty new books and I've never even heard of some of them. So I will get all of them and we will have the red carpet release and everything in, gosh, next school year in August, September. But I just want to give you a little sneak peek of what's coming. So this is one that did make it on the list. It is called Squint. And something cool about this book, it, it was on the Truman preliminary list and the Mark Twain preliminary list, and it made it on the Mark Twain one. So this one's so good that it was on both lists, and they finally decided that it deserved to be on the Mark Twain list. So it's called Squint. It is realistic fiction. This is one that did make it. The next one, you guys, this is my favorite book from this list so far. It is in the mystery section, but I think I'm going to change it to purple. I read this book, and it wasn't really a mystery to me. It's not like scary mystery and... I just think it belongs in purple. So this is by Leslie Connor. It's called The Truth As Told by Mason Buttle. And it is so good. It's about friendship. Um, it's about fitting in. It's about something that happens to a friend and this kid is kind of accused of it, but he's innocent. So anyway, you'll have to read this one by Leslie Connor. I don't know if it's gonna be blue or purple. purple. I haven't decided yet, but this is my favorite so far. Another one that made it is called Captain Superlative. So a superlative is um, when you say most likely to blank or the world's best blank. So this is all about something to do with that. I have not read this. Um, it is in the comedy section. We don't get a whole lot of comedy in the Mark Twain and Truman's. This one is in the comedy section. Another one that made it is called the Ambrose Deception. It is located in the Mysteries. And the last one that I have, again, there's more, but these are the ones that I have that actually made it onto the list of finals for Mark Twain. It's called The Unforgettable Guinevere St. Clair. I have not read this, but it is in the realistic fiction section. And the cover has a lot of blue on it. And I don't know how you guys feel about blue covers, but blue covers tend to always make me cry. <laughs> the story is always ends up being sad. Have you noticed that? Like when you check out a book and the cover's blue, it probably has something sad in it. So I'm guessing something sad happens in this book. Now, I don't know for sure, but anyway, we'll have to read it and find out. Okay. Truman. You ready for the Truman ones? I have some that were on the preliminary list and I have some that actually made it. Truman is for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. 5th graders can still read them, but sometimes they're just maybe a little bit more difficult or the subject matter is just a little bit more mature, but you can still read them. As long as there's not a young adult sticker on them, 5th graders, you can still read them. So here's the ones that didn't make it. This first one is called The Colors of the Rain. I want to read this one. Cover has a lot of blue on it, so it'll probably make me cry, but that's okay. Realistic fiction section. This one is called I Am Still Alive, and it is located in Action and Adventure. I don't know anything about this one. I'm really, a lot of these books I've not even heard of, so I've got a lot of reading to do this summer to catch up. This one, I already showed you this one. It made it to the Mark Twain list. This was on the preliminary list for Truman. It didn't make it on the Truman. It made it on the Mark Twain. So Squint is another one that you're familiar with. This one is called Agony House. Agony means like um, painful, sad, and it's located in the blue section, which is some of y'all's favorite. And it's kind of interesting because it has some pictures in it, but not enough pictures that I could put it in the graphic novel section. So it's got a couple pictures in there, but I didn't put it in graphic novel because there's more words than pictures for sure. So again, this one did not make it, but it is still a good book you should check out. 
This one is called The Dark Deep. It is also in the mystery section. It did not make it, but it's still a good book. This one is called Drum Roll, Please. It is located in Realistic Fiction, and this one is Young Adult. So sorry, fifth graders, you cannot read this one yet. Wait till next year and you get that Young Adult note filled out. And the last one that did not make it is in the sports, and it is called Game Changer by Tommy Greenwald. So usually there's about one to two sports books per year on the list, but this one did not make it. So are you ready for the Truman ones that did make it, the finals? Here we go. The first one is called Lifeboat 12, and it is a novel in verse in the action and adventure section, which usually this doesn't go together. Usually you see novels in verse in the realistic fiction section, so it's kind of unusual to have it in the action and adventure, but I think that's cool. I think that makes it even more awesome. So again, this is a novel in verse. You know this. You've seen these. We talk about them all the time you guys come in. So again, this one's called Lifeboat 12. This is on one of the finals, on the final list of Truman's. This one, I'm so glad it made it. This is by Anthony John. Anthony John is from the United Kingdom. He's from England, that area. So I've seen him speak, and he has a really cool accent. But he lives in Missouri. His wife and his children, and he live in Missouri. They live in St. Louis area. So this book is called Mascot, and it's about a kid that is in a wheelchair. And he's in a wheelchair because an accident happened, and he's feeling like really, really down on himself and really sad about life and just not great. So He's kind of depressed because he can't play baseball. Baseball was his favorite. And he meets a kid at school that's like really, really tall and really, really big. And his nickname is Double Wine. And they become best friends. And they are obsessed with the St. Louis Cardinals. So if you are a Cardinals fan, you will definitely have to check this book out. It is in realistic fiction. Another one that made it is called Imposters. This is the first in a series. It is located in the science fiction section. Scott Westerfield, he's written several books in that section. This one's really good. I read this one this summer and I didn't even know it was going to make it on the list. So it is located in the blue section. It's called City of Ghosts and it's about this girl who uh, doesn't have a lot of friends at school but she does have a super close best friend but that best friend is a ghost and no one can see that ghost except for her but they're besties. It's pretty good. Um, this one is also in that blue section. It's called Not If I Save You First, and it's by Allie Carter. This one is called The Miscalculations of Lightning Girl. I have not read this, but everyone that I know that's read it has really enjoyed it. Realistic fiction. This one is called Ghost Boys. I've had several copies of this book checked in, checked out. So several of you have already read this book. I like it because it is not very long kind of short and it is told by different characters ghost by ghost boys by jewel parker Rhodes. this one is called night books it is creepy looking and it is located in the blue section night books and the last one that i have for you for today that is in the library that has made it on the Truman final list is called deep water and it is by watt key now if you are familiar with the Truman Award books on this year's list, you'll know that Watt Key also wrote a book. It is, hold on, let me see here. Oh, Hideout. Hideout is Watt Key. I have other books by him also in the action and adventure section, so a great author there. So anyway, come to the library and check those out. I will put them on the new book cart, which is located when you walk in the door on the left-hand side. So come on in today and check them out, and I've got some new books for you also. See ya. Yes! In comedy this month, we got three new books. The first one is called Clean Getaway, and then the much-anticipated Diary of a Wimpy Kid Wrecking Ball. Everybody's wanted that book for a long time. Another one we got in is called The Best of Iggy. It reminds me a lot of Diary of a Wimpy Kid. In realistic fiction, we got a new one called Nessie Quest about the Loch Ness Monster. The next one we got in is called That's What Friends Do, a great book about friendship. Me and Banksy, Banksy's a real famous graffiti artist. And the last one is called Don't Tell the Nazis. In romance, we got a book from a very popular TV show a bunch of you have been asking me about. It's called Snow Falling. Again, this is in romance. And a series of four books in romance and science fiction. 
We got in Mars Bound, that is a four series set, as well as some Star Wars books. In sports, we got in the newest Jake Maddox book, and it is about climbing, called Climbing Strong. In Mystery and Suspense, which is the dark blue, we got in Gordon Corman's newest book, and it is called Notorious. And it's an action, or in mystery. I'm anxious to read that one. Hollow Dolls looks super creepy. You guys will love that one. And in graphic novels, we got in six of the Black Panther books. This is the new series that a bunch of you have requested. So we got six of those in. Then we got in two of the DC Comics um, Secret Hero Society Study Hall of Justice. And three more about World War II. And this one is about the Green Lantern. It's called Legacy. And the last one, Dogman Fetch 22, finally came in. In nonfiction, we got a book about cats and jokes. It's cat jokes, or best joking cats, excuse me. The next one is called High Rise, and it is all about um, apartment buildings and architecture. These books here are for teachers. They'll like those for science. And then we got in 12 Minecraft books. So everything you could ever want to know how to do in Minecraft, we have a book for it.